let's study about food production system. A system that is carried out to prepare food items by processing different edible ingredients together in a variety of specific way considering the time and temperature of the food is known as food production system. There are different varieties of system that can be adopted for production of food. Most food production outlets inherit a traditional food production system but may make modifications to that system or select and build a new system. The main reason to make modifications in that system is due to the difficulty in finding adequate labor. Insufficient labor is forcing many food production organizations to consider alternatives in food production system. Also, there is great concern about food safety including hazard analysis, critical control point, HACCP program implementation, and quality control. Types of food production system Conventional food production system Centralized food production system Cook chill system Cook fridge system And finally, vacuum cookery or sous vide Let's talk about conventional food production system Well, this system is most common food production system Although it is changing due to current operating environment In conventional food production system Ingredients are collected and food is produced on site, which is held either heated or chilled and served to the customers. For this food production system, food is purchased all along the food processing continuum. For example, some items may be purchased from non end and require full preparation. Others may be purchased with some processing or fully prepared and require just portioning and services. This system are used extensively in schools, restaurants, colleges, universities, and cafeterias. Because of current labor studies, many of these conventional food production systems are using more and more food products from the complete end of the food processing continuum. The chart explains about the continuum process from non-end or complete end to the service of the customers. What are the advantages of conventional food production system? The first advantage is high degree of perceived quality. The system makes people think of fresh and homemade food product, which people often equate with quality. The next one is flexibility in menu items. Any menu item can be included on the menu because food is prepared and served soon after production. The third one is Food is served soon after preparation, which means that most often freezing, chilling, or reheating typically doesn't impact the quality of food product. And finally, traditional standardized recipe can be used. There's little need to modify recipes for chilling and reheating or extremely large production quantities, which means large number of standardized quantity recipes are available for use. Finally, disadvantages of this production system. The first disadvantage is labor intensive. More labor will need to be scheduled during peak times, making the cost of labor higher. Consistency could be a problem if there are several conventional kitchen in the same hotel premises. There may be great variability in food quality, portion size, and food cost due to unskilled labor. Higher food cost, due to minimum control of portion size and waste may be greater. More total inventory, since it is dispersed across many locations, could result in uneven record keeping and misleading calculations. Finally, the next disadvantage is about food safety. There is less control over food safety in conventional food production system compared to other food production systems. There are more decisions that must be made at critical control points like a great number of staff member at many locations. It often is difficult to provide the supervision necessary to ensure consistency in how the staff follows the standard operating procedure in multiple outlets. Thank you.